Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome to another episode in Future's Edge. I'm here on the Aim to Game server with Dornall. Hey, hey, hey. And today, yes, we you see we've made a big hole. Uh, we're going to fill that hole up with a farm. Yeah. Uh, let, let's get right on to it. Uh, all this stuff is over in a project chest. Way, way over back at our house. You see that we're going to put the farm over here because this is close to our power generation. Uh, uh, you know, you probably... Mm, probably uh, wanting to connect that... Uh, make some wire right yeah so i i, I you Garnell sent me up a bunch of project chests here he, I, I i i went afk for a few minutes and he went to town and i got three of them here i'm not even going to touch this one right here at the, right above the door but uh this is the one that i that i was planning on doing all today now over here though real quick this shouldn't this shouldn't take too long right if I give you, if I, if we like, just look at all these parts. I'm just gonna look at these recipes. I'm gonna let you put these together while I'm working with the farm, because I know you want to put that that table together. Once you assemble all these parts, now what this is gonna do is this gonna make uh, circuits, uh, um, transistors from open computers, because you you need those. So let's 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 take a quick look at the the blocks that we're trying to create here. Is the engineering blocks. Heavy engineering. Yep. Heavy engineering block is what it takes to make press. To craft one of those, you're going to need a microchip tier 3, which is going to take some diamonds, redstone comparators, things like that, and my tier 2 microchips. Uh, you know, back to some nether court slap. Us. These are all these recipes that are in this uh, thing here. And they all start with making the microchips and the transistors, which are actually going to complete a few quests under our way down here computations so once we do a little bit of computation computational stuff we might actually get into doing some open computers fairly soon too since that's going to open up some of those quests uh, but yeah go ahead and uh throw all that together now that i showed uh the audience what all the the complications of the recipe i think the other things in here are what um some scaffold so scaffolding and then the actual heavy engineering block uh, steel something right steel this stuff so yeah steel scaffolding and the heavy engineering block so that's all I'm gonna make I think and uh, conveyor belts too doesn't it take conveyor yeah it takes conveyor belts yeah the conveyor belts I can't say I'm gonna get the conveyor belts during the process of making all this oh well they're really cheap anyway so I apparently did not do anything to that recipe. Very cheap. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be putting together the farm while he's doing that because um, we want that press in order to be able to make plates and wires much cheaper. And we need some wires. We're probably going to need some wires to connect up the power to that from the water wheel. And I think we'd also like to make a second dynamo and see if we can't connect to the other side of that water wheel. I don't know if I've ever tried that before or not. It's probably not going to work. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but we're going to try it. And then we could always put like a second water wheel like right beside it, like with the dynamo on the other side and have it like a six-wheeled water water wheel with a dynamo on each end. If it'll fit over there. I don't know if we left enough space for where we're going to put the farm. So... One of the first things I need to do with that farm, I need to finish getting that ready. So I've gotten these wands, all these different wands, from uh, from exploring and grabbing stuff. And I've gotten them all charged up. And I'm going to take one of my swapping wands and a whole bunch of this stone brick because we're going to have we're going to do the stone brick style. A lot of that is because the quest reward is a stone brick style of uh, farms. Uh, and you want to do all the same style. So if we look at farm blocks, there's um, stone brick, mossy stone, cracked stone, regular brick, uh, smooth sandstone. You know, there's all these different kinds of farm blocks. Um, 
for your entire farm you want to make sure you use all the same farm blocks so we're just going with basic stone brick because it's pretty much the easiest one to to get and uh, it doesn't look bad it looks pretty good actually so what we need to do is this is the hole we had to go down in there um and and uh kill a couple chupacabras and uh found a freight and stuff like that and you're gonna see some footage for that probably up in the corner uh then i'm gonna go ahead and start this process so what we need to do is have Ooh, you know what? I'm kind of skipping something because I have something I need to put down in that hole before I do anything else, which is a reservoir because our farm is going to need water. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to make a reservoir from Ender IO, which I don't I don't even need to look that recipe up because it's sitting in here in the chest laid out for me. It's fused quartz and cauldrons. There's a little confusion about uh, the number of which that we needed, so we're actually going to get a couple extra, but that's okay because I'm sure we're going to need water someplace else, uh, an infinite source of water. So we're only going to use half of these blocks. And oh, I need a, I need two buckets of water. Uh, there's some buckets. Perfect. It's two of them. Works out. Um, just curiously, where do you want me to put this press? I want the, I want the, okay, well, I would like this building here to be the, uh, like the large machinery stuff. So we've got, we've got the three work tables over here. We got some chests on this side, a couple furnaces. Uh, and then like the rest of this whole rest of the space, actually this work table is not ideally placed, but, um, like it could come over here and go in between these workbenches. We could even have a second one. That would look cool, I think. Okay. Uh, I hate to break it because it will uh, it will reset the recipes, but that's alright. We can always put them back in there. Yeah, they, they go back in pretty easy. Uh, and then yeah, like we could do a press, um, and and we might be. I don't know if we would want to do anything else. Maybe like two presses in here, or even three at them if we can fit it, but. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's right, they have to have a, a redstone block in the center now, don't they? Yes. Alright, so I'd like a two wide, oops, redstone block in the center. Oh, does that mean that we can put them right beside each other, though? Like, side by side? Doesn't it? Yeah, like like that? Like, could we do that? We'll find out. And then we could even put a third one in there if we really wanted to. But, um, yeah. Okay. Cool. You finish that up. I'm gonna get back to what I was doing, uh, which is to just basically replace all these blocks. It's gonna be. Oh, I don't have no more blocks. <laughs> oh man, I hope we got enough brick, uh, bricks. We might need to make another stack. It's a lot will of you, bricks. Will you do me a favor in your quest? Will you take those two heavy engineer blocks for me? Sure. I can do that. That's under tech tree, I assume. Yes. Yes, it is. Heavy engineering blocks. Oop. I have to actually hit the claim button there. Done. And where you need them? Yes. Yes, sir. There we go. And you said you wanted a third one. Yeah, I think it would look good in there. I think it would be fine because um, there's like three or four plates that we're gonna want to set up because we want um, press things. Yeah, because we'll want the we will we'll want the the. Uh, this, the wire, the plates, and, and then possibly the third one where we might switch out between ooh, bullet casings. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll use the third one to switch out between the bullet casings, gears, and rods. But then we can all you know, and if, since two since the one will be left on plates all the time and the other one will be left on wire all the time, those can actually be later. We can use automation with those since to make stuff. Okay, anyway. 
back to what I was up to. Oh, look at that. My Is my lunchbox empty? My lunchbox is empty. But I'm prepared. I've got all these meals ready to go. Just go right in there. Now I can reopen it. And I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, oh yeah, bricks. Ran out of bricks. Um, I, can, I think I can still use half of these and still have enough for the recipe, right? I need to have 36 left over. How much power did that take? Well, not that much. I might need to adjust that a little. Okay. Um, of course, I don't want to have to be running back all the time to recharge and walk either. Of course, later on, I should be able to carry batteries with me. Anyway, uh, that's tangent. I need to put the reservoir down in the bottom here. Right there. Put one bucket of water in. Oh, that's weird. But with two buckets of water, it will automatically uh, become a water source. And, oh, I need a wrench. I'm not going to be able to change the mode on this without a wrench. Okay, well, <clears throat> another tangent. we got to go quickly make a yet a wrench. Hopefully we got the stuff for electrical steel. Let's see, ground, coal dust. Uh, silicon and iron, ground coal dust, the silicon. All right, iron. they will not sit side by side. Oh, wait a minute, there it went. Oh, it's not iron, it's steel. <laughs> Well, there we go. We got three of them. And a gear. Do we have a gears? A spare gear somewhere? Land Strider, mm -hmm. you're back. Mm -hmm. I missed you. Uh, treated rods. Oh, that stuff's all over there. And then, oh, not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I like it. That's kind of cool that we can put them right beside each other. Uh, we just need to power them up. Okay. Um, what did I originally come over here for? To get some treated wood out of this thing. Actually, sticks, treated wood. Oh, man. I'll take that bottle of creosote because I might need to make more treated wood. Actually, I just need eight sticks. Gotta make some more uh, connectors. Yeah, I can. I'll do that here in a minute. Iron. Now I can make a gear. Uh, grab out my electrical steel. There we go. Now I gotta get a wrench. And now I can go back over to my reservoir. And right click that. And now it will push out to whatever it is connected to. Now, the reason for that is the farm is gonna need water. So I need to make sure that I put my water valve on the bottom of the multi block structure touching that reservoir. And it should then fill up the farm once it's formed. So. Now let's actually go make the farm blocks uh, now that we got all that out of the way. Maybe. Um, ooh, I need to get rid of this. Grass. Where are we going to start grass? Grass. Sure. Can go there. <laughs> Place for I am short a few bricks. Uh, do we have how much? Yeah, that's okay. I got, I got it. Easy enough. We have plenty of uh, stone in uh, the drawer over here. Still got quite a bit of it there. Good. Oh, not that chest. Okay, a few things have to be made in the fabricator. So the fa oh. okay, fabricator is not powered up. So we would need to move that someplace where it can be connected to power. At least, if not, maybe just for temporary. Yeah, just for temporary. We're gonna put it right there. 
Now it has plenty of power. It's going to need uh, either sand or glass. Then we need these components right here, this tin, redstone, gold, more redstone. Uh, what's the birch trap door for? Honestly. It's for oh, one it's year. For, yeah, okay. Yeah. Does a birch birch gonna okay, I hope birch trap door work. <laughs> um So first we're gonna start out making with the with making the tin electron tubes now we need glass so we need sand in there once it gets hot enough now it's drawn power as soon as it gets hot enough it will start we can start taking the uh, ele the electron tubes out of there It's taking its good sweet time. Getting hot. There we go. Okay, that's all the tin ones we need. I'm going to take that sand out of there because I don't need no more glass melted. And that's going to make our gold ones that we need. All right, so let's go back over here. Grab the rest of these components. All this stuff, we'll just grab it all. Uh, let's put away this core heart and maybe a couple other things so we have some space in our inventory. Probably don't need the reservoir for now, but I will put it in here. And I'm done with the build wand, the swap wand for the moment. And don't need to carry the illumination wand. Look, illumination wand's pretty cool. Probably can show that off. Uh, I'll put it up there because it kind of it makes like a pixely glow light thing. <laughs> kind of cool. Have you seen it? Darnall? What's that? The uh, the illumination wand. Here. Oh, nice. i seen it. Yeah, okay. i just seen it. Well, uh, we've got two of them, so if you need one, they're, they're, All right. they're in here. And we've got two build wands now, too. And two swap wands. <laughs> so. And we've got that... Uh, time one too which basically allows you to accelerate uh blocks like farm crops and things like that it's neat uh yeah i'm gonna come over here might as well go ahead and make all the blocks i need so i need uh farm blocks i need brick brick farm nope Because where does it say? Oh, it says it in the, uh, in the, the hint. <laughs> okay, so we need these. Oh, I need a bunch of. Oh, I have the copper. Oh, I'm not. I didn't open. Once again, I have not opened my crafting grid like I was supposed to, so I could click this in. There we go. Twenty-one. I'm gonna get twenty-one. I'm short some. I think. Oh, we I got to you got to have the ones we take from the quest. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense then. So, let's go turn our quest in real quick. Oh, we can't turn our quest in real quick because we haven't finished it yet, have we? Uh so yeah, you got to make one of everything. On here is a primitive farming. Yes, we've got to make one of everything. So, we've made we've made the farm block. So gear block, valve, control, and hatch. That's easy enough. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come in here and go. If we look at the uses of that farm block, <laughs> um, 
Do I, do I not have any? I don't have tin gears. Power block. They were in there. Oh, the recipe for tin gears were in there. I see. Which is that. There we go. Tin gears. Now we can go look at the usages of that. We're going to need a gear block. We're going to need a... Oh, it's not accepting the birch trap door. It has to have the, the standard. Can I just convert this? No. No, it's not going to accept the birch trap door. All right. Sorry, I was trying to... Gotta have vanilla. All right, let's try that again. Now we can make a hatch. A valve. A control. What was the other one I needed? That's all of them. That's all of them? I made the hatch. Oh, yeah. That's all of them. Okay. Awesome. Now I can put it together. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need any other blocks, right? I mean, other than turning in the quest and getting those ones so I can actually build the full structure. Yep. You need to come get the ones I just threw out. Okay. Thank you. Where'd they go? They probably went in the building. Pack? No. <laughs> uh, I know they went in one of these. Hunting. It couldn't have went in the hunting pack, right? Oh, no. There's two stacks of them in my inventory. What? Why did these not connect? Why are they not the same? Not the same? Uh, interesting. Does that mean I gotta like place these and then break them? Yes. That's good to know. Okay, so yeah, that's something that people are gonna be telling me about. Not being able to get their farm blocks to work. Oop, oop, oop. No, no, no. All right, so some kind of metadata or something screwed up there. All right, now that they're all stacked and I know that they're gonna work. Okay, we got and we got uh, like actually a couple extra. Cool. All right. So valve is gonna be the one that we definitely need to go. Could you sleep off the night, maybe? So right now the way it's set up, it's plates, wires, and rods. All right, man, looking good in here. Plates, wires, and rods, you said, huh? Yes, sir. All right, nice. All right, I'm going to get back to getting this farm done. Now that I got all my components, uh, the farm valve is going to be the one that we need to put directly on top of the reservoir. It probably could have worked there, too, but we're going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and fill in these with... Just put the control right on the top then. Make the control the center block. And this the hatch. There we go. Oh. No. Okay. Disassemble for a second because I need to put those back in so that it detects them when I assemble the multi block structure. So right now, not a multi block. Now it's multi block. Should be working. Yes. 
No, we don't have any of the stuff to go in this, do we? Haha. <laughs> I just realized. Uh, oh, and it should have water in it. It should have its water in it. Yes. Water, good. We are good in water. Uh, we just need to add fertilizer. Which I believe is just straight appetite. Do we put straight appetite in it? I think we just put straight appetite in depending on how we configure it. We're going to have to configure it with a card. I totally forgot about that. We need to make a circuit board. One of these guys right here. We're just going to make a basic, uh, basic farming circuit board. Uh, and it's gonna need a bunch of dirt. I, know that, I remember that. It needs a bunch of dirt. It's gonna need some of uh, this stuff. What am I missing for a circuit board? Anything? Oh, it's just redstone and a tin. That's easy enough. Pretty sure I only need the one basic circuit board for in it. All right. Well, uh, Dornell put together me put together for me a second carpenter which I put in this room and then I put the other reservoir here for water to go ahead and pump into hello uh, dear in how's your day going should be getting water are you not taking water set that to push out there was getting water in it okay I guess we just have to have a conduit there or yeah, this, has, this needs to be put in with a pipe. It won't take it directly. All right, well, anyway, that is set up so that we can make our soldering iron. So we're going to need some iron some, and some bronze. Our soldering iron. Now over here we've got some copper electron tubes that we just cooked up. And that plus some redstone and a piece of tin one of these is tin right hello dear how's your day going we'll get us our circuit board in the carpenter with water and you know while I'm in the carpenter well, whoops to put the tin in there Oop, and it went into my mining pack of course of course Uh, and then while we're working with the carpenter with water, uh, one of these, yeah, this recipe right here. Since that's already done, is going to get me diamond, tin, and redstone here. Take those there we go that's what we're looking to get it's a portable analyzer um and then i'm going to be able to use that to start analyzing bees and trees and all that fun stuff but we're not going to get into that real deep this episode I just wanted to put it together since we now have the carpenter set up with water um the other thing that darnell was busy doing while we were while he's putting together the carpenters he went ahead and made some more iron plates actually he was doing this a little bit ago Iron plates, which are going to give these sheet metal blocks. Very nice. And then we can take those sheet metal blocks, plus these treated wood fence that don't have a that have a broken texture. And we come up here. Pack this. Oh, not that. That. That, that, there we go. Look at that. Now we got a nice tank up there that we're going to use to store our our excess uh, creosote oil and uh, one with the two pieces of conduit. I've got something else for you to do as well. So now I'm thinking about it. I might not even need the conduit. Let me check something here. If I put this right there tell it to pull from the bottom uh, and push out that way. It's hard to set to push out that way. Yes. 
Looks like it's doing it. Is it doing it? I don't know, I can't tell. Doesn't look like it's doing Here, it. Here, can you burn this for Can I burn It's what? pulling it's pulling uh it was pulling the oil. Was it? Can is there is there oil in the food tank in the tank? I can't tell. No, you ain't gonna be able to tell. It's very it takes a lot. Five hundred twelve buckets goes in there. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I think I would actually like to uh, to do it this way anyway. So that I have access to this one over here, like so. And then we can set that to extract. Always oh, active right go. there. Yeah, pull it. And we can set this one to auto extract. Yeah, sure. And, and set the one that goes into the. Yeah, if I can click it. Oh, I might need to just break this block for a second. Uh, set this one to insert. And that should set that big tank as a giant reservoir and this little tank as always full so that we have access to it so we can get my pre soap and then I should be able to can I put it directly in this way? Yes I can. <laughs> you can definitely put it directly into the tank at the with that at that base box if you need to. Cool. That uh, is, was a awesome tangent, but we do need to get back to the farm here real quick. One second before you do, I got something on here ground to put together. Something more to put together. What is this? Oh, um, yeah, you're gonna upgrade the. How does that yes. work? Yes. Just plate next to the brick. You sure? Or on top of the brick. Maybe it's specific. Yes, it's specific. <laughs> it has to be on top of it. Cool. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I made some steel plates. Now that we can make steel plates cheaper, and then he's going to upgrade the blast furnace so that it can be automated. Don't forget you're going to need a little more space above it because it's slightly taller because it's got that uh, hopper on the top, I think. I think that's the only difference is the hopper on the top. All right, back to our farm here. Uh, did I not bring over the? Did not. I pulled it out and then I put it back in. But anyway, we can first take this soldering iron. We've got our copper tubes, soldering iron. We put our thing here and our copper tube. Just put a copper tube here. What? Machine upgrade? No. We want manual farm? No. We want to. I don't want a manual farm. I want an automatic farm. There we go. Now it says Arboretum. Shazam. Automatic farm. That's going to go into our farm slot here. Now once this goes in, you can never give it back. So there it goes. Uh, if I break the farm block, the multi-block farm thing, I lose that circuit out of there. And then I have to make a new one. Um... And if I want to change this to a different kind of farm, I have to make a new one and lose that old one. So, yeah, there's no real. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize that's was trying to sleep. Now, take some dirt. Three, four, five, six. Uh, and some appetite. And I think, oh, another thing we need is uh, a stack of saplings. I think I'm going to go for oak because... You know, it just it just seems like some things, I mean, because of the malleus and stuff, some things require vanilla. Yep. Uh, Slap this on your way by. So get to smack that while I'm going by. Give it a smack. Thank you. Oh, oops. Uh, yeah, we don't want it like that. I need to smack that differently. There we go. Is that right? Wait. Which one's the front? I don't know, dude. That's not going to fit in there a little differently, isn't it? 
Yes, it's a little different. Um, the heaters go on the stone sides. Okay. I do believe. Well, the heaters go on the stone sides, and probably the back is out. But or the... anyway, I, I think that's the way we want it. That's going to look cool. That looks very awesome, actually. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, you can uh, get stuff out the back, maybe, or the front. Well, that obviously is going to change shape that building a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we just put our dirt in here. That goes up in those slots. It's going to use that up. Put our appetite. Where did it go? No? No, not appetite. Something else goes here. It goes here. Uh, something you make with appetite. Fertilizer. That's what I need. Oh, don't I have a little bit of ash that I picked up from loot? From chest loot? That's where I have some ash. Somewhere. I do. Look at that. Um, which allows me to get even more fertilizer from my appetite. I, I, not that the appetite is in short supply. I can get plenty of appetite. Just have to go to a high area and do a little bit of mining in the mountains. So that goes in there. And then that goes there. All we're missing is power. All we're missing is power. We just need to get some power lines over to it. Whoa, <laughs> just connected it. And uh, you can see that obviously air power is working. <laughs> it's doing its job. <laughs> I had to quickly hit the record button there because I, I didn't expect it to be that quick without doing something. But yeah, looks like our automated farm is going to go. It, it's not going to have enough trees to comp uh, saplings to completely cover this at first, but it will fairly quickly. Um, and then we'll have to automate... Uh, probably just put a couple drawers over here and then uh, automate the uh, pulling out of the wood into the drawer so that we can uh, and probably all well, yeah we're also going to get apples because <laughs> these are oak and uh, tons more saplings that we could probably use to break down into biofuel or something or do something else with we'll figure it out but now that we got a nice little farm over here you can see that that worked out perfectly. It's even with the surface of the ground. And it's going to do that. Oh, yeah, we're also going to get a bunch of sand as it burns up the dirt. And Escador just left. <laughs> and I think well, that's good. We, we can turn the sand into glass, so that works out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think with that, now that we've got our farm done, we won't have. Yeah, there's our first tree. In a minute, it should cut it down and put the wood in. Uh, yeah, it sometimes takes a little bit. It should cut that tree down here in a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, where we're going to wrap this up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode as much as we have enjoyed making it. If you did, be sure and leave a like, comment, thumbs up, all the other fun stuff. And until next time, we will catch you later. See y'all on the flip.